Hi, welcome to Best Stories. This is Season 2 in the Adventures of Pecky the Rat Podcast. Episode 2, Finders Keepers. There is hardly ever a quiet, dull moment with a family of seven children. Someone is always needing something, or doing something, or needing to go somewhere. Like today. Some of the children had a soccer game, another had a piano lesson, and one of the kids needed to get to the library for information on a school project. And because everyone had different activities and different places to be, everyone was on different schedules, and even ate dinner at different times. The children had not even had a minute to sit down together until they were all finally upstairs and in their beds. Their mom joined them and said, well, we had a busy day, but now heads down, covers up, and lights out. It's time for our next story about the adventures of Packy the Rat. What do you mean the truffles are in the basket, said Packy. When they fell out of your backpack, we gathered them up and put them in a basket, said Priscilla. I guess the kitten's blanket hid them and you didn't realize they are in there, said Priscilla. We thought you knew, said Oliver. Oh dear, this is a problem. Yeah, we thought you knew they are under the kitten and were just carrying them back for us, Henry said a little disappointed. But wait. How could this have happened to the barn friends? Let's back up a minute to remember what exactly happened. Well, all the barn animals were in the forest truffle hunting. And after they had found the truffles, they discovered a kitten stuck up in a tree. The truffles fell out of Packy's backpack when they rescued the kitten from up in the tree. Packy was high up in the tree and Buddy was helping Packy get the kitten down safely. So neither of them saw the barn friends put the fallen truffles in a basket. Then when Buddy and Packy had taken the kitten to the farmhouse and left the kitten on the front porch, they didn't know the truffles were in the same basket they had wrapped up and placed the kitten in. Oh no, I didn't know, I didn't know. Oh, how could this have happened, cried Packy. But now those delicious truffles are in the farmhouse with Celia the cat. How are we going to get them out? Oliver blurted out, I will help. I'll be able to smell the truffles wherever they are in that farmhouse. Oh, I want to help too, neighed Henry the horse. I've been dreaming about those truffles for a very long time. Well, then maybe I should go too, mooed Clara the cow. Lily and the lamb twins bleated together. We want to help too. Well, I guess we should all go then, said Buddy. Well, it certainly would create a distraction if we were all in the farmhouse together at the same time, said Priscilla. One of us should be able to locate the truffles, I would think, Priscilla told them. I agree, said Packy. We should all go, but I think we should go right now, though, before they discover the truffles that are hidden in the basket, said Packy. So the barn friends decided to go up to the farmhouse together to get their truffles back. Now remember, there had been a winter thaw and most of the snow and ice had melted, but at this particular moment, it had begun snowing again and the snow was piling up on the ground. Henry and Buddy got the sleds out, not to go sledding, but so they could use the sleds as a ramp to get up into the farmhouse. They wanted to lay the sleds on the steps that led up into the farmhouse so that the barn friends would be able to get up onto the porch and then back down and out of the farmhouse without too much difficulty. The barn friends were eager to get their truffles back, so they quickly got up to the farmhouse and they set up the sleds on the steps that led up to the porch and then once they were all on the porch, Packy climbed on Buddy's back to open the door. And once all the barn friends were inside, It got a little crowded in that kitchen, so the barn friends quickly went to work looking for their truffles. Oliver said, Well, I can smell the truffles, but I just have no idea where they are. 
Well, I think that's good because that means they didn't eat them yet. Or perhaps they haven't even found them yet, said Packy. Priscilla scurried up onto the counter to see if they'd been placed up there and also to get a look out for Celia the cat. But she did not see the truffles or Celia the cat. Henry opened the fridge and looked in there, but he didn't find any truffles in there. Clara was able to look in the oven, but she didn't find the truffles in there either. Well, Packy was getting worried. They needed to find those truffles quickly before someone noticed all these animals in the house and chased everyone out. Then Buddy wandered into the living room and Oliver and Lily and the Lamb Twins followed. And they saw the basket. The kitten was still sleeping in it and the kitten was still wrapped up in that same blanket. Oh my, oh my, I smell the truffles, said Oliver. They're still in the basket. But then, oh no, because at that minute, Mr. Snyder had come down the stairs. See, he wanted to check in on the baby kitten. And then Mr. Snyder stopped right in his tracks when he saw all the barn friends in his living room. And because the problem was now, all the barn friends had entered the living room when they heard Oliver say he smelled the truffles in the basket. Henry, Clara, Packy, Priscilla, Oliver, Buddy, and Lily and the Lamb Twins were all in the living room. And imagine how shocked and surprised Mr. Snyder was to find a horse, a cow, a pig, a goat, sheep, and Packy and Priscilla all standing in his living room. Mr. Snyder shouted, Hey, what are all these animals doing in my living room? Lily and the Lamb Twins got so nervous when they heard Mr. Snyder yell. They started circling around and around him. <laughs> and now Mr. Snyder was stuck and he couldn't move. Henry and Clara and Oliver followed Buddy straight out the back door. Packy and Priscilla grabbed the basket. They carefully took the kitten out of the basket and they placed the kitten still wrapped in its blanket by the fireplace. And then Packy and Priscilla ran as quick as they could with their basket of truffles towards the back door. Oh, they were running really fast. They were right behind Oliver. But, unfortunately, Packy and Priscilla were stopped by Celia the cat. Oh, great, not you again, said Packy. Priscilla was not sure how they were going to get out of this one until Lily and the Lamb Twins came charging into the kitchen. And once they saw Celia the cat, oh boy, those lambs got nervous all over again and started running in circles around and around Celia the cat. And now Celia was stuck. Packy and Priscilla didn't waste any time as they ran with their basket of truffles to the door. Buddy was standing holding the door open for them. You see, Mr. Snyder had stopped only for a moment, mind you, to check on the baby kitten and make sure the kitten was okay. And once he heard the little kitten meow and blink its eyes at him, he knew the kitten was fine. So then Mr. Snyder put the kitten back down and then hurried into the kitchen. But he was just a second too late. Packy and Priscilla had made it safely to the door and Lily and the Lamb Twins had followed right behind him. And Buddy quickly shut the door. Henry and Clara had taken the sleds off the steps and were ready to go. And as soon as everyone was out of the farmhouse and down the steps, they jumped onto the sleds. Henry and Clara pushed the sleds down the hill and then they ran towards the barn. Oliver and Lily and the Lamb Twins were on one sled. Buddy, Packy and Priscilla and the basket of truffles were on the other sled. The two sleds went sliding all the way down towards the barn. Mr. Snyder came outside on his porch. He just scratched his head and said, Why, this was very curious. And then he looked down at Celia the cat and said, Well, how did all those animals get in our house? And what did they want that basket for? Well, at least that little kitten is safe. And it seems like they're gone now, so we better get back inside and check in on the little kitten again. Celia the cat let out a low growl and meowed and then followed Mr. Snyder back inside the farmhouse. Now all our barn friends were sliding pretty fast with those sleds on that fresh slippery snow and actually one of the sleds made it all the way to the barn. However, it was not the sled with the basket full of truffles. 
The sled with the basket full of truffles and Packy, Buddy, and Priscilla on it had veered to the left, and then it bumped against a rock, and that sent that basket with the truffles in it flying into the air. And then that basket of truffles landed right in the stream. Even though it had snowed, the weather as of late had been warm enough for the ice in that stream to melt, and that water was very cold and moving pretty fast. So that basket with the truffles in it was quickly floating away. Packy, Priscilla, and Buddy just watched the basket rush away down the stream in that icy cold, cold water. The basket of truffles was bobbing up and down, just floating away. Henry, Clara, Oliver, and Lily and the Lamb Twins came running to make sure their friends were okay. Packy said, Oh, we're fine, but the basket with the truffles is floating away down the stream. What? cried Henry. We still don't have the basket of truffles? Where? Where is it now? Well, don't look now, friends, but it looks like Sammy the Beaver has just found our basket, said Oliver. All the friends started running down towards the side of the stream to catch up with Sammy the Beaver to tell them that that was their basket. They were all shouting, Hey, stop! Wait! That's our basket! The stream was winding around and the water was moving pretty quickly. And now Sammy the Beaver had taken the basket and he was out of sight. Oh, corn nuggets, said Packy. What are we going to do now? Oh, don't worry, Buddy told his friends. I know where Sammy the Beaver builds his dam. I'm sure he just wanted to use the basket for his dam. I never knew that there was this much adventure in truffle hunting, said Clara the cow. We didn't neither, bleated the sheep. But they all followed Buddy to Sammy the Beaver's dam. The barn friends were feeling a little sad. They were worried they might not ever find their truffles again. Priscilla reassuringly told her friends, Come on, everyone, don't give up. We'll get our truffles back. We just have to find Sammy the Beaver's dam and get the basket back. We can do that, said Priscilla. Packy, Oliver, Henry, and Buddy were already ahead of them and well on their way to finding Sammy the Beaver's dam. And then just around the next bend, the friends saw Sammy the Beaver place the basket right in the dam and wouldn't you know, it filled a gap very nicely. And when the friends finally got to Sammy the Beaver's dam and found Sammy, they quickly explained that the basket was theirs. It had just fallen into the water when they were on their sled. You see, they had hit a bump, and then their basket flew into the air and landed in the stream. And they were all trying to get it, but they said, Unfortunately, Sammy, you got to it first, said Packy. Oh, I see, said Sammy the Beaver. Yes, said Priscilla, but thank you for getting it for us. We just need it back. It's very special to us. Oh, no can do said Sammy the Beaver. Oh, why is that, said Packy. Well, beavers live by one very important rule. Finders keepers. Finders keepers, mooed Clara. That can't be. Oh, yes, beavers are very, very busy. So if you don't mind, I need to get back to work. Finders keepers is uh, Sammy's rule. Uh, yes, yes, you said that, said Oliver, but... Well, what if perhaps we traded? We traded that basket for another one that looks just like it. It's the same size and everything, Oliver quickly said to Sammy the Beaver. Would you trade us for that basket for a new one? Oh, good thinking, Oliver, whispered Priscilla. Well, I suppose that would work, said Sammy the Beaver. Beavers can trade. Well, all right then, said Oliver. It is a deal. The barn friends told Henry to run back to the barn and grab the other basket, and they would keep their eyes on this basket with the truffles in it to make sure it stayed safe, because their basket with the truffles was shoved right in the middle of Sammy the Beaver's dam. <sighs> well, Sammy the Beaver was so busy he didn't stop working the whole time Henry was running back to the barn to get the other basket. Sammy was already busy gnawing at another tree that he would place on his dam. Wow, beavers are really busy builders, said Packy. 
I'm so glad you thought of the trade, Oliver. Sammy was not going to let us get our basket back, said Priscilla. Well, it's a good thing he believes in trading, said Oliver. And then in no time, Henry had arrived back from the barn with a basket. But when Sammy the beaver saw the new basket that Henry had brought and wanted to trade with, Sammy the beaver immediately said, Oh, whoop, sorry, trade deal's off. Off? Why, cried Priscilla. Why, that basket is too small, said Sammy the beaver. We'll leave a hole in my dam. I like the other basket better. It fits perfectly. Finders keepers, my rule, you know, said Sammy. Oh, I think Henry grabbed the wrong basket. If we go get the right basket that's the same size, would you still trade? Priscilla asked Sammy. Oh, nope. Sorry, too late, said Sammy the beaver. Too late? Why is that? asked Packy. Oh, well, you see, the cold water and snow have frozen that basket right in the dam. And if we try to remove it, it might break my whole dam, said Sammy. Finders keepers, my rule, you know. Oh dear, we may never get our truffles back now, mooed Clara. There must be something we can do, Nate Henry. Oliver said to Sammy the beaver, Oh, Mr. Beaver, oh, we just need to get something out of that basket that is shoved in your beaver's dam. Would you mind if we just get our truffles out of the basket and you can keep that basket right where it is? Oh, why didn't you say so? Of course you can get your truffles out of the basket. Beavers don't like truffles anyhow. But be careful, don't damage my dam, said Sammy the beaver. So, since goats are the best climbers, they decided that Buddy should climb across the beaver's dam to get the truffles, with Packy and Priscilla's help, of course. Buddy carefully walked across the beaver's dam, slow and steady, Priscilla carried that smaller basket that, that Henry had brought from the barn so they could put the truffles in it. And Packy would get the truffles out of the basket that was now frozen into Sammy the Beaver's dam. Packy opened the basket and very quickly placed the truffles in the new basket that Priscilla was holding. And when the last truffle was put into the basket, Buddy quickly and carefully walked off the Beaver's dam. Oh, the barn friends were so relieved and so happy to get their truffles back. They shouted goodbye and thank you to Sammy, but he was already busy working and didn't even hear or notice them leave. But wow, the barn friends had had such a day. Clara was right. Who knew truffle hunting would be such an adventure? But they were all glad the adventure was over. But the barn friends were even happier that they got their truffles back. And then they went back to their barn. And they were all enjoying their delicious truffles. Packy said, I can't believe how many times we lost the truffles and then found them and then lost them and then found the truffles again. Well, I'm just glad we found them again, said Henry. Well, you know what they say, said Oliver. Finders keepers. And then all the barn animals laughed and happily enjoyed their truffles as they settled in for the night. And that is the end of our story for today about the adventures of Packy the Rat. And before we go, did you know the saying, you are as busy as a beaver, is a simile that refers to you being as busy and as hard working as a beaver. And beavers are very determined and focused on building their dams and it's a lot of hard work. So if someone says, you are as busy as a beaver, just say, thank you. And thank you for listening to Best Stories and the Adventures of Packy the Rat Podcast.